<coughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Leo Gilling. And this is the Leo Gilling Show coming to you from the, the uh, comforts of the Leo Gilling studio right here. And we are streaming live on jamaicans.com. My, my guest tonight will be Michael Campbell, uh, linguist. <laughs> Countryman. The best patois speaking. Um, hold on, let me find out a number before me even go any further, yeah, man, because uh, this <coughs> Michael Campbell had me in stitches the other evening. Uh, let me see if I can find Michael Campbell. I just missed it a while ago, so just bear with me. Michael is coming up right now. Oh, no, no, that's not, that's not the number. This one is... Yes. Um, so let's see if I can get Michael on the line. I hope that you stay with um, me. I hang up for me. Some things say, I miss here coming when you're here talk. Some of you say, oh, okay, yeah. I must be not the time yet. <laughs> Michael, good evening to you. Good evening, Mr. Gillen. I, I, I am going to introduce you today. So just play along with me. Right. Once the people, let me, let me see much people left online first before we start talk because um, I, before I introduce you. Uh, so hold on one second. How is Washington, D.C., by the way? Say that again, sir. How is the war, right? Oh, 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 is, oh, is Washington, D.C. tonight? It cold or what? Well, me not up there, you know. So me not no up there still. Me not up there now. Me oh. at home. Which part there? Maybe up in New York side. Oh, you're down in New York. Okay, so you run from cold to cold. No, what happened? You know, through me when sick. You know, if you went, no, so me went in a hospital for one long, long time. Oh, I didn't know and that. And then, when me come out, they told me can't walk up the stairs in the house. So me come and my parents them yard, so they might take care of me till me get better. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, so you're getting better? Are you getting better? Me think me I get better, Mama, Master, because today the nurse come come sitting about the about, about the foot. Me not know what is the story, but me never me foot up. Me, me just put it this way. Me a walk go one way, me foot a walk go another way, and hopefully we meet up in the middle. Oh, so, me, okay, me, okay, so. okay, all right. So, well, it sounds like your mind is okay, your mouth is okay. So let me introduce you, ladies and gentlemen. This is Michael Campbell, linguist. When I say linguist, I mean linguist, um, patwa chatting, countryman, what else? Comedian. Oh, there you go. Good evening to you, Michael, and welcome to the Leo Gilling Show. This is country, li this is country life, so you're on the right show. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Gilling, or should I say Leopold, because if you know, you people, they hang up on their mug, you know, master, that we have attitude with you. I mean, I want to see you walk around with attitude, I mean, I know, so I call me name, put hang up on your mug. But listen, oh. right, I am not, let, take off the pole off of my name, and name is Leo. Take off no, the pole. I'm I mistake. Maybe I can say Paul, you know, yes. because me have one colleague named Leo Paul. Oh. So me say for your name, Leo Paul, to you, and we call him Leo Fisher. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Me. My name is Leo Gilling. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> uh, I point your order, do Mr. Leo. Yes. Oh, me not say the picture up there. The other day when Michelle oh, went the yes. panties, the picture yeah, went up there. You know, say the not... day, you know. Hold on, hold on, hold... man. <laughs> All right, go on. All the people them don't know who you, who you're there to talk to. Then I'm going to put it up right now, Michael. That is my fault. Absolutely my fault. Okay? And I want a nice, nice picture, Miss Senior. Make your people and see picture. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So, Michael, in the meantime, tell the people them which part Michael come from. Where, where Michael really come from? Okay, let me talk. I'm American, but I used to live in Jamaica. And I lived in Old Harbor, St. Catherine. How old are St. Catherine they come from? But they went born at town. You know, everybody said them, everybody born at Kingston. Nobody no born nowhere else in Jamaica because only one parish in Jamaica. But in half a truth, I was born on the island of Jamaica in Kingston, Jamaica. Then I went after living there for about seven years. On my seventh birthday, I ended up going to the country because 
me did do something. I mean, I know parents did receive back in them days, you know. But I true now, me go tell the church people, them say, oh, my father have abandoned the church. My parents said, oh, do not go ship me off to St. Anne. So oh. there I was in St. Anne for three years. Then when I came back to Kingston side, I were living in in um, Old Harbor, St. Catherine. And I lived there for a few years and then migrated to the United States. Okay, and I, so I'm originally from Old, I'll say I'm from Old Harbor, St. Catherine. So it does sound like you spend much time, three years at St. and a couple of years at Old Harbor. Wait, no, no, a couple of years. Remember, so when people say couple, okay. it means two. When we Jamaicans say couple, we mean 10, 15, 20 oh, years. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Got, I was wondering where you get your accent from because you have a really, really strong Jamaican accent. Because I'm all things Jamaica. I'm all things Jamaica. I, I've lived in America for over 30 years, but I don't need to talk American. I'm not American. Oh, okay. I see. I see. All right. All right. That, Jamaican. Just, just checking. Just checking. And then when you, when you left Jamaica, you, you went to a primary school. Can you remember your, your basic school teacher? No, my basic school. We used to go to Miss Gibbs basic school off of um, Windward Road ah. in Kingston. When I came to the United States, I was 20 years old, sir. Oh, so you're old enough. So you went yep. to... So, so so when, I, didn't, I went to college here. I didn't go to um, high school and then place it here. Only went to college. So you went to which primary school? I'm going back. Which primary school? I went, I went to Marleymount Primary School in Old Harbor. I don't remember. I never heard about Marleymount. Marley Mrs. Grandison, Mrs. Grandison was the, was the principal then. <laughs> okay. And then you left primary school and go away? And go Horizon Park, Arliage. I make I just tell you, the, 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 the common entrance and the, 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 there was another exam that you take when you leave primary school and go to the college. Me take, said, take none it. of them me not pass, them beat me. Them, the, me said, the two cities them beat me, me end up at all over secondary. But you can't chat to me and all come here smart enough. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, you know, to make you feel a little bit better, me never passed the common entrance and me never passed the technical one either. So I, I, mean, I right, it was the technical. Me never passed none of them, master. But then it shows me and I learned from it that listen, people learn at different stages in their lives and at different ages. Because you may have failed those and you have Jamaican people who have a, a tendency for kind of Put you down because you know past coming in and you know past some kind you know got to in high school you know go come after not but not no go so not no go for your city your city there you know see tomorrow. That's true, absolutely. So so what what do you remember? Let, let me ask you what do you remember of uh, you got shipped away to to to, to send and you went to your grandma you say it was your grandma? It, no, it was my grand uncle. You know, Kamina Harris, uh, yeah. Kamina. Johnson, no, um, no, no. Kamala Lata Harris Latoya, Latoya, Latoya Harris, and no, no, and no. Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, yes, in Congress, the senator, yes, she's my cousin, so I was shipped over to her father's brother's yard. Oh, so okay. Her father, her father is my grand uncle. So let me take, let me take good care of you. I mean, you, you know, let me. No. If I tell about them the, that they liked the master, it was not wonderful life. Me was the only picnic in the yard. Yes. The one there, the little girl we used to come there occasionally. And then she ended up live up a top road and me did live down at the bottom and me one in the yard with one, two, three, five, six big people. And me had a little picnic. I mean, I tell her, say, them beat me, go, them beat me, come, them beat right? me, go, them beat me, come. <laughs> from, from one auntie to one uncle, I beat every day. Every day. But you know, the funny thing, though, when me used to go at the school, I like, used to go to Philadelphia early at school. Mm. And me did bright, you know, because back in the days, the so when you pass, when you, when you get your end of year test, and if you come up in at the top, four or top five then make you skip one class yes so me true. always in at the top four or top five so me always a skip class before you know it me catch a grade six and me i went just eight or nine years oh, old okay so you know, so so, so do you think do you think that you not passing common entrance it wasn't about 
your grade, it wasn't about um, anything other than, you know, somebody take a spot, you think so? No, it's that I wasn't focused. Okay. Never okay. focused. You know, sometimes you go to school and when you see the pit in them, you just did there, you ramp and play, all you need in a class, you ramp and play, teacher, they put on um, family up on board, but you know, pay it no mind. And sometimes when it, sometimes when you're not understanding, instead of saying that you're not, you don't understand, you just sit down there and make it pass you. But children need to be empowered that when they are in the classroom and if they do not understand whatever the teacher is teaching you, stop the class. Stop the class and ask question. You now worry about whether or not somebody is far ahead of you. That is all good and well. They have grasped the concept. Mm -hmm. You want to grasp it too. And you might end up grasping at a, at a slower pace than they are. Make all of your hand, if I have a 15 times, okay. all of your hand and ask. Because you want, when you left the class, everybody's on the same page. Because some will learn it fast and some will learn it slow. At the end of the day, everybody will be on the same page. So that means start do a succumb me. Go get one little something when me get it. On a surfing ticket. So, so <laughs> surfing ticket. So tell me, tell me, what do you mean I beat you for? Because, I mean, what was, what, somebody, give me some of the, spe the specifics. Can I you? will tell you. Mm. Because you're an only child in the home. And you, you don't see any of your peers there that you can play with or, you know, communicate. So you go out of people's yard for go, go play with their children that is, of, uh, that is your, in your age group. So that is what I do. I used to walk both. <laughs> I, Are you there? Yes, man. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Where's the now? No, you were you were talking about you, you walk boat, you walk boat. Right. So I go to people's yard and uh, hang out with the children, and I will stay until in the evening. Then I'll come back home. So whenever I come back home now, Auntie Bada, my granduncle's wife's name was Auntie Bada. Auntie Bada. Um, Auntie Bada. Mm. You know, she would make us think of the fact that I've been out of the yard all day. You know, and so. She would complain, okay. complain about me not being in the yard, and then, and then they just start um thing there. Just beat you, be, beat you because uh, in a, in a day yard. Me, one evening I remember I came in, and when she said, she said, "Boy, where you there all day? Where you there all day? Eh? You one tripe, boy. You where you there all day? One eh? tripe. Instead of you come here, you come, come, come catch water and, and pull up a drum them, and she was cooking in the kitchen." And she walked out and, 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 and she flung the kitchen knife and it stuck right into the side of my face. What? And she was so frightened that she ran and grabbed me. And she hold me up and she hold me up. And, you know, then after that, she then threatens me to say, if I ever tell anybody, what should I do with me? I was like, what kind of world? But you know what, though? I'm really glad for the experience. And I have no regret. I don't feel bad. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not, how would I put it now? It has not affected my life in a negative way. I grow from it. I learn from it. And it has taught me quite a bit how not to do and what not to do. So it was an experience. And I've grown with the experience. So did you have a, 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 a normal boyhood? You go shoot bird and play marble and something? You, you do that? Master, that's very nice. Not a shoot, not a bird. Shoot bird with a master. Me, not a bird, no shot. Not a bird, no shot. Me only got, me only got the dirty pan where the water now flow. The water just settle in our, when our hole and we go in, they go jump out. They come out with white like snow, like white, like white people. Uh, the water now nah, run go no way just settle. No fish nine, no fish nine there. No fish nine there. Not at not a running. No men no fish were in there or whatever. But when we come out and the water dry from his skin, we white, we white, we white, we white. <laughs> or if you want to call it ashy as Americans call it. Ashy. Oh my god, you're so ashy. <laughs> Alright, so so all right. So let's leave Antibada, Antibada, right? All right. mm -hmm. And we're going to to uh, what the place name now? Where the, where the next place? Old is Harbor. Old Harbor. Harbor. Old Harbor. Uh, so, so who did you stay with that in Old Harbor? My parents. Oh, so you were back to your parents? 
Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. So, so, um, did you get to shoot bird at, at, at your parents' house? Did you go out in Olaba? I don't know what Olaba looks like. No, I got as his housing scheme, oh. and it's a one only parish to crutches used to live in there, even though it didn't stop. So, mm-hmm. so you didn't get to you, go out, you know, go play marble with nobody or, uh, you know, you know, do nothing. What What was it that you did as a boy? What are play, the we used to play dandy, shandy, and sighting. <laughs> uh, and um, you used to take and play cricket in the street. Okay. That we used to play. And then we go down at the ball field, go play football. Okay, okay, okay. So, so mm-hmm. growing up, did, did you play any sports in school or anything? Well, me used to run, um, when I was at Marlemont Primary School, I used to run track and field. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that was the extent of it, and it was, it was, it was short-lived. It was it wasn't, short-lived. It wasn't long at all. So what do you remember, Michael, about Christmas at Mom's and Dad's? Well, at Christmas, I will tell you, we per se did not celebrate Christmas because we are Sabbath. People. Oh, you're Sabbath and we keepers. thought that this is a, it's paganistic. Okay. However, it was for me as a child, I marveled at Christmas because I loved the smell of the food being cooked on Christmas Day. The cakes were being baked in a few days leading up to Christmas. You would go from yard to yard and get your sorrel and your cake. And then sitting there, where by the time you hardly come back to your yard, you look like your hall where everybody cake come put up. All when June come, you're still at your Christmas cake and drink sorrel. But everybody are give a buckle for Christmas. Who can afford to buy you one present and wrap you up in a paper and give you one, one flask of sorrel or then give you two slices of Christmas cake and you can't go put it down and I say, yeah, hold it, hold it, hold it. So June come, you know, you still can your Christmas cake. <laughs> So by Christmas, come back round, you still have cake and so, so you just have to keep it going. But we didn't really celebrate Christmas because of our religion. Okay, so so your parents were, were SDA, um, strict SDA? No, we were Church of God Seventh Day, not, not Adventist. Oh, the, yes, I And the difference that. between the two, we are the charismatic type where we <laughs> speak in a Speak in tongues and shout and rebuke and do all this oh. stuff. <laughs> and that's the difference. Church of God saved me. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> that is good one. That is good one. All right, I, so keep going. No, no, no. Continue at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't know the difference between Church of God SD and Seventh Day. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know the many difference. Many persons don't know that there is Church of God Seventh Day. They may know that there is Seventh Day Baptist, but they don't know that the Church of God Seventh Day exists which is like a New Testament church of God uh-huh. or a church of God of prophecy. Okay, so we have some people who are, are, who are on and following you. We have um, Nicole, Nicole Robinson. She, um, she um, I mean, I re- repeat, no Rista, not at all. Um, Princess Mira says, good night. Angie Lewis Brown says, greetings, Leo. How are you today? I'm great. Thank you so much. Jennifer Ashley, good night, Leo. Uh, Marjorie Forrest. Michelle Tingling says, I wonder if they beat with pudding pan. No, then you used to fling pudding pan too. Yes, I started sitting here and you used to fling. <laughs> then you can imagine how me and Saba keep on going to country and I pay pork me name every day. Every day I pork, then give me finiam. Every single day. <laughs> and then, then they reach the nav enough, so they, they probably have a lot of hogging in the yard. Then listen, uh, uh, yeah, the, my grand uncle had lots of cows and goats and pigs and so on and so forth but guess what then i give the big plate of food st vincent yam <laughs> banana dumpling the whole nine yard and one little bumps of meat when it up the evidence bunks <laughs> one bunks of meat <laughs> one little bumps of meat mass and that are the evidence to say you get salty <laughs> so what was what was breakfast like? What was breakfast like? Tell me. Well, breakfast is you usually get for a roast potato and one, one cup of uh, fever grass. Up here they call it lemon grass. Lemon grass, yes. Or yes. Fever grass tea. Uh, you have to go out a morning time, bright and early. Then wake up, you have to go go milk cow. Come I mean, use the milk cow and care about the milk and then they would boil the milk with salt in it. When you drink your fear salt, all the milk full of salt. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But let me ask you. So, so then, 
You have to drink the milk? Yeah, man. You drink the milk. You drink the milk for your tea, yeah, man, in time. Oh. If they not give you the fever grass, tea or whatever tea they make, they will give you the milk. I you drink milk, yeah, man, in time. And by your come home. Then I have to walk through the hills to come down to the yard every lunchtime for lunch because my um, auntie mother used to say, come home for your lunch. And you used to freak uh, back in the day, they had black Blackheart, <laughs> black man, right? Yeah, you remember? Yes. And they said, throw a ball and you stuck a road. So me used to freak to come down. So when me not come down, me could have looked forward to a beating when me go home in the evening. <laughs> and that's all you're afraid of? You're afraid of the doppy? No, sir. Doppy, not a doppy. I don't even know if doppy when did they are. Cause me have yet to see a doppy. Oh, so you never really, you never run from go, rolling calf and doppy and anything there? You, you, I, I just, no, sir. I just not at all. They used to say one day in the district where we live, but me never have the luck nor the pleasure to meet him. <laughs> Tell me other, the other type of um, tea them where you drink. You have, you have fever grass. What else? You have fever, but you have lime leaf tea. Lime leaf. You remember lime leaf tea? Yeah, man, yeah, man. You, you, you remember sour sap leaf sour tea? Sour sap leaf, yes, yes. Then you used to make with drink, and when they do, they would peel the orange and then put it over the fireside <laughs> so that it quail. Sinjan, and then they yes. take that make orange tea. A long time we had drink them as something, and we didn't have what they are called formal and um, um, <laughs> gourmet tea, you know. Yes, we had yes. drink them a long time. <laughs> Then we used to have civil, civil orange tree, or civil orange tea and civil orange leaf tea, right? You remember, you remember when we used to drink? Then at the time when they make the sugar and water and squeeze one piece of civil orange in the master with yes. with piece of ice, so you go buy round the wash. That's that the real wash. The the community. Yes, that's the real wash. That's the real, real wash. Master, when you drink that, I sit on and burp. You know, let me let me be formal. Come in, you have the next thing nobody got to talk for your show because me too informal. Uh, <laughs> so, um, what was lunchtime like at school? What was lunchtime like? Where, you, did you eat from the canteen? Well, at school, in if it's okay, if it's Philadelphia, all age, they didn't have canteen there, so you'd have to go up at the shop. And you buy your bread and butter and ripe banana. And then it used to say, we know if you eat the bread and butter, ripe banana, car ripe banana, butter, pies. <laughs> you don't know what kind of foolishness that was. Where is so it? Right, but, right banana and butter, pies. <laughs> that's what they used to yes, say. Yes, you're right, you know. Afraid. So we used to be afraid to eat the, but we'd have get one whole of bread. And bread back them the time, they know when you buy one, it's cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> and you just put the banana in the center for the, the meat kind and you're just near me and drink sitting and you're gone back at class <laughs> well you know my days we used to have the 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 spacecraft plate it's 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 um aluminum and then used to make dumpling right the, the fried dumpling them but they mm. didn't they didn't put baking baking powder in the in the fried dumpling. they put baking soda so that the, the, the dumpling them swell up big, but not, not inside of them. And but when they, but when you use the baking soda for cookie dumpling, master, the dumpling them bitter too. <laughs> them bitter. <laughs> and baking to... soda make things bitter. <laughs> we used to we used to we have to eat those kind and and it come in at the the the, 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 the plate. And, and they used to give us bulgur also. You remember bulgur? Yeah, did you eat bulgur? Of course. Yes. And we never used to want to eat bulgur because we thought that was extremely poor people food. And when you get bulgur, when I was at Malimo Primary, you know, I used to eat from the canteen and they used to offer us bulgur um, rice with chicken back. Yes. And they I tell you, the bulgur rice then we thought was like the worst thing to eat. <laughs> but come here now, if we could have get that yeah, if we could have get that yeah, now with us so happy and glad you know can now we know they are very nutritional food. <laughs> okay, so here's um Jacqueline Richards. She says um she's in South Norwalk, Nikki officer in uh, Miramar, Harris Sylvester Porter in Connecticut Connecticut. Um uh, Jacqueline Richards says it, I mean lick, no flick. All right. Um, who else? Uh, Aris, I used to eat out, out of the, 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 those plates at the canteen. Yes, I, I did too, Harris. <laughs> um, Jacqueline Richard says, what about them throwing the shoes? You run around the corner 
the shoes follow you and <laughs> I don't remember nothing about that, Jackie. Oh my no, I don't remember about that either because back in those days, I used to go to school without shoes. Oh, oh you never, you never wear shoes? Feet. You are a barefoot boy? Yes, used to go to school. Most, I mean, I didn't feel any way because everybody else in the school too. But Anybody else that have on shoes were considered wealthy. Yes. I have money. That's true. We have um, Carvel Burrell from Toronto. Um, Louise Timson says good night. Jennifer Ashley, good night, folks. Uh, Jennifer uh, Nicole Robinson says, "Risto crutches." Okay, <laughs> are you are you come up with that one there? Stop talking about crutches, funny people. In I did not say. I said Risto. Risto. I said, is that Risto crutches? <laughs> you still have quite a number of those in our community. <laughs> And you know what, as we are talking about aristocrats, people, yes. you know how oh, when we know you used to nothing, yes. and God honor and bless us and make us have like something or we can carry on and go on like so we in the amount of glass, out of good golden spoon from we have Lily Picnic, and no say not no go so you know. <laughs> no say that, that thing no go so I know we come up and come show up and those people Absolutely. because God has brought us where we are. Listen, you know? them, 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 the people that did, we, we used to call them stush. Me now call them not a stush, me I call them idiot here now. Because I'll tell you, you know, Leo, yes. I've been in a lot of um, formal circles. I've been to what they call people who are considered notoriety in our community and society. So when we go to see them things, you know, you have to turn up and then give you one glass drink with wine and you're thirsty you know and you want to drink coffee was sitting one time and you have to do that with your mouth with it sometimes it could have bun me becoming on a patient car thirsty me thirsty and then if before me know how to be, be socially um accepted you know when me got in the thing that then give me the glass me just go up down the whole light and me thank everybody as i feel them one did they take their time and sit so me i want to say after no tea so they must see this song. I mean, turn up there with the empty glass, you know, because like we have to realize that they are crazy. It's not in that chair no more. Come give me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. All right. And then, and then, you know, there were some boys in our neighborhoods, right? Um, little poor, much poorer than, than we were. And they would come to school um, with the two patch on them. Butts, right? Uh, well, it, it, it might be patch or the tear or the, or the, the back of the thing cut out because they're sitting on the same, they wear the pants same way all the time. So the butt, the butt of the pants, what, 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 what do you used to call that? The, the, the butt of the pants is gone and, uh, and uh, actually there are butts coming through the pants. You know you mean the tear up at your trousers? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 we had a lot of those in our community. <laughs> a lot of those in our community. Because uh, my community was pretty poor. From Rocco well, I will, well, I will tell you, we used to have that in the country. But the good thing that most persons in the country were considered seamstress. <laughs> so they would sew and patch it with another piece of cloth. <laughs> and so that we would have a big patch. Yes. In other chose it. <laughs> but <laughs> then there were those. And then, but you know what, Leo? I think those were very good times in our lives. Because most persons never really ridicule anybody because of this. Because it was like it was the norm. It was normal. It was the norm. You know, but no, make somebody walk out there with them. But, uh, that's uh, not true. Yeah. That's not true, though, because we, we are buying a lot of, we're paying a lot of dollars for these same tear up body pants these days. And tear but, up, yes. No, but, 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 but no, it is considered, it is considered um, a particular fashion style. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, uh, body rider. Uh, you know, and and all but, <laughs> but they usually have they have something under underneath it, and it kind of look more yes. way that hard, you know, chic. Yes. But back in our days, now nobody never really used to pay it. No mind, I'd be upset. But now I'm talking about because you can tell the difference between the one that's fashionable and the one that was just the case that it is torn out. Uh, so, uh, so if you if someone should if car for example now. Well, it would have looked to see you about here with your party shows as I would have done a uh, mirror for it and a mirror for Leo. Ah, true. No, but you don't have a vote to you because I'm not saying that I'm a madman, I'm not saying that I'm a madman. Yes. 
I true, I true, I true. But no. if you wear the one that is sold, whether in Gap Store or Nordstrom or Neiman or wherever you go, your unique boutique that you go to purchase the clothes and you buy them, they'll be able to tell the difference and say, okay, this is indeed, you know, fashion. Fashion. Tear up a bottom and make fashion, right? Yes, uh, sir. Lord of mercy. Maybe. But may I tell you the truth, though, me love the good old days. You know, when I go to Jamaica, you know, a lot of persons on the island will ask, you know, so where you live? And when me tell them I live a foreign, they would look strangely at me as if to say, me too lie, because truth we me I talk, you know, get the accent. But listen, when I came to America back in 1989, I did not know that they were issuing out accents as well as immigration <laughs> so when they gave me my packet accent wasn't in it so never get the accent and so my brothers and my sisters they're all americans and they're me now by some time me look upon them and say when i speak that's a proper english that's proper english but they think that if they go back to jamaica with that people with a lot of foreign then come from well me no want nobody knows where me come from foreign because two to Jamaican people, I just kind of certain things to Jamaica. I mean, I have a safe yes, I mean, you know, here because I love Jamaica today. But me, not speaking, not an accent. I will speak normal whenever I'm in the, 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 the company of people who are considered movers and shakers and people of upper echelon and they don't want me to talk the patwa, then I won't. But here's my point. Even them up there, sir, know the patwa so that we understand what me ask. Okay, so, so, so the, I, I get the impression since you were such a, 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 a beating stick and your parents are pretty strict, them, them boy used to beat you up enough then. I mean, you weren't a fighter, right? No, Jesus, every evening I could have looked forward to film me bus ass then through the mountain, you know. Because through me the brighting at the school to the picnic, them they in a go on well, so guess what they do? Then would have beat me through the hill, come right down every evening. Then I kick, kick me up and lick me up. One night, one day, I recall coming home. I have to walk through the hills again. And this boy threw one stone from up a top road all the way down the box my head. They're warm. And guess what? They never bring me ass to tell me live a country, you know. No. Me don't know where what I look like. What am treated with? What, what am treated with? Cur them put. Mercury when put one, one leaf, one, one, one green leaf, something pan it, and tie me head with, 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 with Gyanzi. No, no, if you remember Gyanzi. Tie me head with Gyanzi. <laughs> and me did a, a nurse tour with Gyanzi and green leaf for me head. <laughs> the, actually, the green leaf is supposed to be hot, so it's supposed, it, it's supposed to warm, so it's supposed to take out the, 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 the any germs where, where, where in there. Did, did me don't know what it was for, but as summer, I may have to stay warm. I stay warm for about two weeks from school. <laughs> And then, and then it get better. But again, they didn't tie up my head with. So you, did you have mums and, and measles and everything there? Well, I did get mums. We never get no measles. We get mums. Mums. And when me eat, when me had the mums, me I, me I drink the sugar and water. And sometimes the sugar circle in the bottom of the sugar and water so that the part there get. So when you catch down there, so you know, and you did there, you crunch one of the crystals. Mama, at that the time you feel him out. <laughs> uh, did you ever go and look mango or bush or go look guinea and anything there? Did, did you have those kind of kind of experience? Oh yes. We got pick yeah man, guinea and mango, all of them thing there. Uh, apple, uh, star apple, and the true uh, is true, star apple mean, you know, kind of fling, 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 fling all party stone before one star apple fall off a tree. You can't climb. You can't climb. <laughs> no, me couldn't climb star up a tree because then they're too big. <laughs> and me had a phobia of heights. So me would walk up in on a tree because I'm afraid to come down. And coat that tree. Coat that tree. Me know everybody look for coat that tree. <laughs> to coat that tree. Come out that tree, you know. Me know, me know, it worry myself because I'm not climbing that. Because you know, I'm not going to hold on to. You know, I'm not going to hold on to. You go up straight up one pole. I have to I hug the pole all the way up. What the hell when you did there about your spin coat not and you go leg up? Not up your top all the way around. <laughs> yes, that is absolutely true. Oh my god. And these guys are dying. Hold on one second. Let me see. Let me see who's online. 
A whole heap of people up online. Jennifer, again, Aris, um, Jacqueline, Faye Anderson, good evening, says he's funny. Angie Lewis Brown says movers and shakers, notoriety. Uh, Alzi Henry, good, in, good evening, dying. <coughs> oh boy. Uh, they're, they're sharing the show a lot. That's very nice. Leo, this guy is killing me with laughter. Doris Eugene Castillo Tapia, Doris Castillo, and she's in Panama. Good evening, Doris. How are you? Uh, <laughs> nice. Bring back the good old days. Okay. The, um, Angie says they used to use white lily flower to put in piece of cloth and bond it up with cuts. Did you know about that? No, sir. Yes, it's white lily leaf. And um, and mer mercurocomb. You remember mercurocomb? Oh, yes. You mean mercurocomb was the right something where you paint your finger with, you know. Yes. Or any tile. I remember that. Okay. And, uh, okay. Then there's something. Let me tell you something, you know. Back in the day, the, when you have them, they sit in your house, you know. You have things, you know, because people are come from next door, neighbor come from house if they have none to put on them picnic something, you know. Oh, <laughs> so the, so you, you, when you grew up, you did have, you have sore foot when you grew up. You, did you have sore foot? Me did have sore foot. You can remember me that um, you know, you use the hoe to um dig the, the, the dirt to right. plant, right? And miss and go underneath the bed. I'm a big tour. So oh. me didn't have that there sore, but we never have much sore country. Okay, okay, okay. Sore country. Okay, so so where was your your aunt and father? Did, did she did she double in into Obia? No, they did not do Obia. Okay. I don't. I know that they said that there were Obia people in the community, but my grandpa, grand uncle, and aunt is. If they did Obia, me they know. Me no know. Honestly, me no know. So you know, but, you know anybody who, who indulged? Betwixt me and you and the light post, me can't even talk too loud. But my granny, my father, mother, she had it one a woman, and it looked like I said she used to work. Eh? And so, but me never bother with her because she never liked me. I mean, who was ever not like it, but if you take me time to come in, they have a parent, yeah, I don't know why they hear. Nobody put this, nobody make them cook out, look for this, you know, because they don't find out and cook out, ask me about. What are they? What do you call her? One a woman? What do you mean? She, um, they called her, we call her aunt, mm. but she used to go, go on every day, and she used to have rapid and pens in her shed side with a big old Bible. But she go go work, she lick up Obia, and then when she works, she Obia, she come in, wipe her her mouth, clean, clean, like a pussy in her grass, and knows she out there do Obia. <laughs> oh my God. But come to life nice though, Leo, because they use, I remember when I went to my grandmother's country, and she lived in Hanover. Uh, Macquarie District in Hanover and they were building the house and my mother and father would send us off to the country every holiday mm -hmm. and so we'd go there and they used to make dumpling and tin mackerel then the mackerel then they don't make no more then they make them the tin mackerel then no more <laughs> and when they used to look for we little picnic and give away one dumpling and we used to bow in our hearts uh, Anytime you get bigger, one bag of flour, me and I, and me, I eat the whole bag. No, no, if you know, you, you know, we did use to them, the lifestyle. Then. And when you get flour, you don't need the mackerel and dumpling, and you want more, you just take your tongue and just finish wash out the plate. This, uh, <laughs> so, 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 you, so, so, oh, one dumpling, how do you make up for, 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 for that difference? Because, you must have been still hungry at that point in time. No, then things, remember saying, you know, back in the days, you know, adults used to share picnic food differently, you know. We can't just tell, say, where we don't get just a one dumpling. And when you're looking away, when you're looking away, grandfather and the big people, they plate all three dumpling in all the plate. Yama sitting, <laughs> and you just get one no more dumpling. It could have burned me, you see. <laughs> then what I did, I walk around and then I would ask my grandfather, do you want my, my grandmother's husband? Um, I would say, Mr. Dunkley, you want to drink now? And the car work, now work to get sitting out of theme plate. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Michael, you're uh, killing me. 
<laughs> but I'm thankful. I'm thankful for all the experiences I've had in life. <laughs> thankful. And listen to me now, Leo. Me not care what nobody wants to say. At Jamaica, me say all the time, you know. Jamaica, me say. No, me ready for God. Jamaica go run for politics. But me not know which one I party if you join up with. I mean, I try to assess and I analyze and I figure out whether I'm going to on the green side or the orange side. But me not know, Master. So, because so, so you want to tell me which, which parent, your parents or your grandparents, which side of the moon they on? Well, just the other day, I was having a conversation with my parents regarding what particular uh, political affiliation they were a part of back in Jamaica. And my mother make me know, say, it's nobody's business. They said, if nobody's business, or they're supposed to when they run for politics, and I think they would have figured it out. What do you mean it's nobody's business? So I honestly don't know what side they were on, whether they were on JLP side or PNP side. But for me, the whole purpose of me running, and I know that people think that it's with ulterior motive that somebody runs for politics anywhere at all, but I just want to see the betterment of my people. <laughs> uh, there is good, I mean, Jamaica has good and it has bad. However, I think that the wealth is not evenly divided. And so persons are less, the less fortunate not seeing the benefit of what Jamaica is touting and the talking points that are given from officials. Okay? Because there are so many people down there who are extremely poor. And I don't want you nobody can talk about how it's work they don't want to work. No work, no did it then go work. <laughs> yes, true. That is absolutely true. So were you no work, were you that. um uh, you know, you you have uh, some some kind of inflections of of uh, so, some some resemblance a little bit to 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 Oliver Samuels. Is that your friend? Did, did you is, is Oliver that... Samuels is my very dear friend, very ah. dear friend of mine. Okay, okay. very dear friend of mine. Okay. Uh, as uh, as we as you you I know that your passion is education, yes. and I think that the bar is set too high for certain job qualifications on the island because someone may have gone to school, may not have gotten maths and English and six and seven and eight CXCs or GCO levels, okay, but they may have gotten two or three. Some jobs should not have uh, the qualification shouldn't be that you must have six subjects in order to go a bank account money. Give an assessment test when you go for the job and if you pass the test then you know that the person will be qualified for the job. But when you're looking at someone to have six CXEO level, for just go in a bank or sit on kind of round counter to take somebody's um, bank book and say you want $500 and forgive them $500 and you're saying, oh for you to have this job you must have this amount of qualification. It doesn't make any sense. The bar is set too high for certain jobs. Even when you go work in a one, 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 one haberdashery or one regular store. Come on now. Michael, we still have haberdashery in Jamaica. We don't have haberdasheries anymore. Come on. Well, when they are calling wholesale. Oh, thank you very much. Sure. You I, know, but so, I'm just saying, come on. So people really can't make the grade and then you hold them down with your big tour and so they cannot move from there so because guess what you told them and it resonated with them and as a result of that they figure that they are of no use and they don't have no value and then they just get downtrodden and told all sorts of foolishness so they take up crime and then take up all kind of stuff mm. i am going to put you on the spot because i know that you're into creative arts I, oh. I I want you to sing your favorite song tonight. Song? What kind of song? Me cannot sing. I, I need you to sing your favorite song tonight, Michael. Leopold, you must think say a concert is our concert. Me do <laughs> that, that song. Who, who tell you say me can sing? I heard that you are a great singer. If you Leopold, can, if you yeah, can, yeah, me call, 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 top, call me Leopold. Um, Leo, uh, yes, I am. Not a singer. I don't know who could. I would know if nobody on here so tell you that. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Well, since you can't sing a song, then tell me something that you can do from the creative arts. Well, what I can do from the creative arts is crochet. And you have to see, and you can't see it right now, because while me I talk to you, me they are crochet one, one centerpiece to me center table. So, I hit me there, I do. Crochet. You're sick. 
And all you see down at daytime, I do is crochet. Yes, me crochet at daytime. Yeah. Or, 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 I don't know if you know that I'm one of the... Well, that's not necessary. I'm not going to say that. But me, I'm always on conference calls and so on and so forth. I discuss the, 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 the daily happenings in a D.C. government. So oh, that's, that's nice. pretty much it. That's nice. That's nice. All right. So so can you do um, a, a Miss Lou or Mass run for the people? Then? Because I know they want to hear you. You know, to be honest with you, even though I listen to them, I'm my own individual. All right, give me, me, give me one of your piece. Give me one of your piece. Me not no piece. <laughs> me just me. What you see is the real thing, you know. There's, I'm not putting on. I'm not pretending. It's not this a is form. You. It's just me. And you know, a lot of people would not believe. Okay, because you know I'm a flight attendant. Most persons wouldn't believe I'm a flight attendant. Not the way I go on. Then I never believe that. Oh, oh so you work for an airline? American Airlines. Oh. Okay, I see. Okay, got you, got you. I understand. All right. So we... But I'm just being me. I'm me. I listen to Louise Bennett occasionally. Mass Run, I don't remember him because I, I guess I knew of him from as a little boy. Mm -hmm. But me, me is just me. Where you see the real me. Boy. It's no fear, no put on, no extraordinary performance, nothing of the sort. I just know that what, what I find very... Um, enjoyable is just talking with our dialect. So I you love the dialect. So, my God, you don't write poetry, you don't write poems or, or anything? I mean, I write no, no poem, no write, no poem, no write. Oh my gosh, uh, yeah, like you know, if, I, if, yeah. I'm, if I'm going to host an event, I will do my research because you know you have to be informed. You can't go turn up at the people in the podium and you know have a background of nothing, you just stand up there and you just have freelance. No, so you get your background information and then occasionally throughout the, 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 the event, you would make mention or cite certain things of, of, of necessity at that particular moment. But outside of that, no, some me are just me. Well, so I, me, not, me not have no special particular, um, no peculiarity here. Well, the people them there say so must bring you back upon the show and, um, you know, they, we're going to wrap up now. But me nothing say... I don't know. I mean, I go, I go, no, hold on, let me see what the people must say first. Hold on. Eh. Um, hold on. I have, have, have my glasses. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One second. All right. So the people must say, <clears throat> Jennifer Ashley says, Down to earth, yes, sir. Harry Sylvester says, Let him hear, let him sing. Uh, that, you see what I'm talking about? Make him sing. All right. But, but Harry, uh, but, 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 but Leopold, me can't sing. Yeah, but my throat full of her phlegm. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> uh, that's off to you my brother she, he says um jennifer says um crochet uh, i i remember crochet was a big thing there were two things that when i was growing up crochet for the ladies and when they make the tam what, what they did name then i like how you have place emphasis on crochet for the lady crochet i just crochet anybody can crochet but crochet for the uh, lady me not talk today well, me not, me not, me not, me not, me not take me not talk about today me not talk about today we are talking about back in the days, okay? The ladies them used to learn for crochet and, and they would have make spread and they make tablecloth uh, and right and, and they're sitting there. there right? Well I eat me sit on yeah, do as me attack to you. Alright, so what about what the other one where, where we used to make Tam? What are, what are the name? Tam. Knitting. Knitting. You remember? Right. Uh, mm. you get a two pieces of stick and yeah, okay, all right, all right. Michael, thank you so much for joining me, man. It I, uh, is indeed a pleasure to be here. I, Thanks, Million. Based on what based on what these people are saying, I, I, I'm going to have to bring you back. I, I'm I'm so sorry. Well, right, you can bring me back next year. I'll I, come back January. Okay, there you go, there you go. Thank you so much, my friend, and we'll talk again soon, right? My pleasure. Be well and have a great evening. Bye, everyone. Nice chatting with all of you. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Mike. Oh my God, wasn't that fun, Michael Campbell? Um, uh, is the best patwa chatter in the whole world. Um, as I call, I call him linguist. Okay, because he has to be a linguist to be able to talk patwa like that so well. Comedian to me, he's a comedian. But uh, you know, I, I can see uh, that you would agree with me based on what you your comments are. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. This is all that uh, we have to offer tonight. Um, I won't be back on air until probably December. December 8th or 9th or 10th, somewhere there. I'll be traveling a lot. But please follow back on me. Follow back on me. 
I'm going to Jamaica, then I go to California, then I go back to Jamaica, then I go to London, come back to Jamaica again, and then come home. So when I come back home, then uh, we'll come back on air again. But you can follow me, though, uh, because I'll be doing my follow up uh, tours across Jamaica, across California. I'm at Karen Aga, Hollywood, all right? I'm at Karen Aga, London with me. I'm going to show you exactly what London looks like and so forth and so on. So please follow me and, 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 and please be well. Uh, have a wonderful evening, ladies and gentlemen. And this is Leo Gilling. And uh, we'll talk to you. Have a wonderful, what is his thing name again at the end of this month? Um, Halloween. And then on the other holiday somewhere there. Um, Thanksgiving. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Have a nice evening. Goodbye.